Okay, after we've passed the 5 volt test, the next thing is to install the driver chips. Begin by inspecting the pins to make sure that they are straight and properly spaced. They do have a tendency to get bent up a little bit in transit. Now when they're all inserted, flip the board over and inspect the pins to make sure that there's one pin coming out of each hole and none of the parts, none of the legs are bent over. We look good. Now, at this point, all of them are loose. And the purpose here is to show you that it would be very difficult to line them up straight and get it dead on before screwing on the heatsink. And it would be very tough on the parts to have them misaligned and then tighten them up once they're soldered. They'd be put a lot of stress on the package that we would like to avoid. First thing, I'm going to put a little bit of heat sink compound on the back of each part. Using a small flat blade screwdriver, I'm just going to spread it out as evenly as I can across the entire back of the chip. Now, if you look at the front of the ICs, it's a little difficult to see since they're filled with goop, but there's one round hole and one slightly elongated hole. I'm going to make sure to put the screws in first in the round holes. These holes are drilled and tapped 440 heat sink comes with uh, the necessary screws. You will, however, need to drill it and tap it yourself. Then I'll go back and place the remaining screws. I'm still not tightening everything up yet. And you know you're doing it right when you get heat sink compound all over everything. Now I'm going to come along and just snug the screws up. They don't need to be too tight. You're just creating a thermal bond between the driver chip and the heat sink. Now, we recommend heat sinks at any motor current over 2 amps, but quite honestly, I think heat sinks cheap insurance regardless of the motor current you're driving. I see a little bit of heat sink material uh, oozing out. That's great. It's just a type Z9 heat sink compound. So now, uh, it's still not soldered in but I know that they're all perfectly aligned. Shooting down the side here, I'll tip it standing up, but also from the bottom, I'm not, I want to trim these pins. I want to use every bit of uh, real estate I can for heat sink. So I'm going to have them about a, I don't know, 32nd of an inch or so. Line it up relatively straight. Gently set it down. And Now these outside four pins take a fair amount of heat because there's a large uh, circuit board conductors on both sides. So I'm just going to tack a couple in, tack a couple at the far end. Stop and make sure we're still nice and straight. Yep, I'm pleased with that. And then continue. Uh, soldering the remainder of the pins.